Hello you beautiful, beautiful people, welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're well. Today we're jumping into the final season, the season of spring, and the final festival players for Series 27, completing this week's Forza Challenges Everyday Heroes, using Retro Saloons to grab 200 Forza on points and the much needed 15% towards the festival playlist. So if you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing, we are very close to 9,000 subscribers. Let's go complete this week's Forza Fun Challenges. A couple of things we're going to need before we jump into this week's Forza on Challenges. Lake Lodge is one of them. It will double all of Forza on Points for all of Forza on Activities. Daily Forza on Challenges, weekly Forza on Challenges, and Forza on Lives every hour on the hour. Now this house will set you back 5 million credits or it is free with the VIP Pass. But as I said last week, it comes with five bedrooms and four bathrooms, and the views are absolutely fantastic. Now, there are plenty of retro saloons to choose from. I've created tunes for three of them, the 1997 BMW M3, the 1990s Mercedes-Benz 190E, and the 1990s Vauxhall Lotus Carlton. I'll be using all three in today's video. There are share codes in description and in the comments below, or just search my game tag Skippy4631 or the file name Skippy YouTube. Once we have completed the weekly Forzathon Challenges Everyday Hero, we will be checking out this week's Forzathon Shop and the brand new feature Horizon Backstage. But let's go ahead and get this weekly Forzathon Challenges done, kicking off with Chapter 1, the whole shebang, own and drive any retro saloon. Own and drive then, hop outside of your festival house or castle, drive four seconds down the road, the whole shebang completed. So chapter one, owning and driving a retro saloon completed. It's on to chapter two, baggage handler. Pack your bags, we're all going on a holiday. Drive your retro saloon for a total of 20 miles, preferably to the nearest beach. A couple of options to get this chapter complete. You can load up a blueprint that is 20 miles long, do it in one hit, earning credits and influence along the way. You could do a few races, again, earning credits and influence along the way, or you can cruise the free roam map. Quickest way though, is to cruise up and down the motorway as fast as you can, covering 20 miles in the shortest, quickest distance. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cruise up and down the motorway for 20 miles as quick as I can in my 190E. I'll see you all when I hit that 20 mile mark. And after cruising up and down the motorway for 20 miles, that is baggage handler completed. So chapter two, baggage handler completed, driving a total of 20 miles, going nowhere near the nearest beach. It's on to chapter three, run of the mill. Turn the ordinary into extraordinary by earning a total of three stars at the Broadway at Windmill Danger Sign with a retro saloon. So for this chapter, we're breaking out the 1990s Vauxhall Lotus Carlton, running 1,212 horsepower and four-wheel drive. Share code is on screen now, 493-827-471. Now the Broadway Windmill Day site is located on the south side of the map just outside of Broadway and we're looking for a three star objective of 1,200 feet. If this danger sign is not showing up on the map for you, play some other danger signs, earning implements, scoring stars and eventually the Broadway Windmill Day sign will become unlocked. Here we go then in the Lotus Carlton, 1,200 feet is the three star objective. Let's go, nice big run up get as much speed as we can going off through the windmill coming up on 200 miles an hour through the speed trap 198 come on lotus through the jump 220 miles an hour 1335.75 feet that is definitely three stars is it gonna give me notification there we go run of the mill Completed. So the chapter three, run of the mill, completed earning three stars at the Broadway Windmill Day sign. It's on to our fourth and final chapter, Bodacious. Prove once and for all that your retro saloon is a cool car by winning a street scene event at the Edinburgh Newtown. For the street scene race, we're going to be running the 1997 BMW M3 widebody, running 700 horsepower and four wheel drive. The share code is on screen now, 9814802050. Just like the Danger Sign Challenge, head on over to your map and filter this time by the Street Scene series, making them a little bit easier to see and find. Now, the Edinburgh Newtown circuit is located here at the right-hand side or the east side 
of Edinburgh. If it's not there for you, again, play through some street scene races, earning some influence and levelling up. Soon enough, the Edinburgh Newtown Sprint will become unlocked. As always, the races for the weekly Force on Challenges are not affected by driver tar difficulty, so there is no reason to make it any harder than it needs to be. Put it on New Racer. Here we go then in our Retro Saloon, just the one race this week. You do need to win, but it's not too challenging when it's on New Racer. Unfortunately, I can't make a quick and easy blueprint race. I'm just going to have to deal with what we've got. So, win this race, and that'll be chapter complete. Coming up on the finish line then, and we are miles out in front and across the line, first place. And after winning one street scene race that is Bodacious completed. There we go, chapter four, Bodacious completed winning one street scene event, finishing off this week's Forest Fawn Challenges Everyday Hero. Interestingly as well, I hit 80% in the series completion bonus, unlocking yet another ATS GT. But let's go ahead and take a look at this week's Forest Fawn Shop and Horizon Backstage. First cup for grabs then, the 1988 Mitsubishi Starion ESIR, 600 Forzathon points. Second cup for grabs, the 1980s Renault 5 Turbo Forza Edition, 350 Forzathon points. Two clothing items up for grabs, both of them matching, the Ken Block race suit and the Ken Block helmet, 75 Forzathon points for each of those. I don't actually own the Ken Block helmet, so let's go ahead and grab that. And if you're feeling lucky and got any spare force on points knocking around, grab yourself a normal wheel spin for 40 force on points. Or you can nab a super duper wheel spin for 150 force on points. My thoughts on these two cars, the 1980s Renault 5 Turbo is take it or leave it. I would leave it, save the 350 force on points. This car isn't that special, isn't that rare. I think they're in the auction house, fairly common and fairly cheap. The 1988 Mitsubishi Starion, on the other hand, is a pretty cool car. It's Festival Players exclusive, so it cannot be picked up in the auto showroom. Just 600 of four some points, although it's entirely up to you if you want to spend that. Next up is Horizon 4's newest feature, Horizon Backstage, which is now live in game. It can be accessed from the festival site in the free realm world, or you can hop into the pause menu, slide on over to the Cars tab, and in place of the My Cars tab is the Horizon Backstage. Once inside, we currently have the 1999 Lotus Elise Series 1 Sport 190, which I currently own, or we have a community vote ending in 22 hours and 9 minutes at the point of making this video. We have a choice of the 911 GT3 RS 2019 or the Ferrari 599XXE. I've just locked in my vote. I'm voting for the 599XXE. 60% of players voted for the Ferrari. And what the voting does is in 22 hours, the Ferrari 509, if it wins, will show up here next to the Lotus, and then you can buy it through the Horizon backstage. There we go, guys. That's this week's Force on Challenges done and dusted. Everyday Hero completed 200 of Force on Points in the bank, 15% towards our spring season. This week's Force on Shop and Horizon backstage. Let me know down in the comments which car you voted for. But as always, thank you so much for watching. If you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. We do this every single week. We'll also be playing through the rest of the festival players in the next couple of days, unlocking the Toyota GT86 and the Lexus ISF. If you have any questions about this week's four song challenges, do hit me up in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. But stay safe, guys, and have an awesome day.